the biggest wrestling news of the entire season just dropped today when it was announced that Zahid Valencia has been indefinitely suspended from Arizona State's lineup. What does this mean? How did it happen? And how will it affect the NCAA landscape at 184 pounds? I'm going to talk all about that in this video. So let's stop stalling and start talking wrestling. What's going on wrestling fans? My name is Josiah and welcome to Fanco Wrestling. On this channel we talk all about wrestling news, tips, and lifestyle. So if you're interested in topics like those, I want to go ahead and invite you to hit that subscribe button so you can be updated on the latest in wrestling news just like this news right here when Zahid Valencia was suspended indefinitely from Arizona State's lineup. So how exactly did this happen and what does it mean? Let's discuss that. So this originally was tweeted out by Pat Minio. Today on Twitter, he said, Breaking news, Zahid Valencia failed a drug test administered at the Grand Prix in France a few weeks ago and will be removed from the USA Olympic trials. I have no further details on what he failed, but as of now, this will not impact his NCAA eligibility. So this was kind of the first aspect of this whole situation here. And uh, he, later, Pat Minio took this down uh, and people were like, okay, why did he just tweet this out? Then bring it down well he actually tweeted out the wrong tournament the correct tournament this happened at was at the uh Matteo Pelicone in Rome so this happened in Rome that uh, around January and he failed a drug test and according to azcentral.com this is the source of everything I'll have that linked up in the description below it says a source told the Republic that Valencia tested positive for a recreational drug, not a performance enhancing drug. So that is what the situation is that we know. Continuing on with the article, Arizona State said in a statement, Zahid Valencia has been suspended indefinitely from the ASU's men's wrestling team. Uh, there's further information they're not releasing that further information due to student privacy, which is understandable. We'll hear things through the rumor mill. We're not exactly sure what Zahid Valencia failed, but he has been suspended from the wrestling team. So is he going to be out at the NCAA tournament? Well, I mean, suspended indefinitely can mean many, many things. Is he going to be out for a couple of competitions? Is he going to be out for the entire season? Is he going to be just kicked out of Arizona State because of these whatever potentially happened here that is the question well their Arizona State's head coach had this to say it's hard to say what's going to happen with the lineup moving forward our goals remain the same we want to kick some butt this is a really exciting group of guys and that's why I'm keeping my chin up and yes of course the head wrestling coach is going to say something similar to that because you know what else is he going to say? He, he has nothing else to say about this topic. Uh, it's unfortunate to see stuff like this happen to the best wrestlers in the entire country. And Zahid Valencia was not only, you know, the best wrestler at 184 pounds, you know, we were going to find out at, at NCAAs. He was potentially the best pound for pound wrestler in the entire country and a heavy Hodge favorite, favorite to win the Hodge this season. So, now, if he is out at Nationals, if he's not wrestling, who else could win at 184 pounds? Well, these are the top five wrestlers at 184 pounds as it stands right now. These are by Flow Wrestling. The top five wrestlers, Zahid Valencia, of course, if he is out, will not be number one. Hunter Bolin will bump up. Bolin of Virginia Tech will bump up to number one spot. Next up is Trent Hiley. We already saw Bolin beat Trent Hiley in a recent matchup with Virginia Tech and NC State. Uh, Bolin has also beat Lujan this season, who's at number four, and Lou Dupre is at number five. Moving on, who's at, at number six right now is Andrew Morgan of Campbell University. He will be moving up into that number five spot, depending on what we're going to see happen. Now, I don't know if Flow Wrestling is going to just go ahead and take Zahid out or not. That's yet to be seen in next week's rankings once we hear a little bit more about this situation. This is something that I wanted to talk about. I thought it was very important to talk about. I don't like going into rumors about what may or may not have happened. I just wanted to state the facts of what we know. Now, again, like I said, I will have everything linked up in the description below so you can go ahead and read and do some of the research yourself. I wanted to get this out there. I thought it was very important to discuss because Zahid is you know, potentially the biggest name, the best wrestler in college wrestling this year. It's unfortunate to see these things happen. Please let me know what your thoughts are on this in the comments below. Please 
keep it clean, keep it good. Uh, but you know, it's unfortunate to see. So speak your mind.